Hi there, Dr. Beth Westy here, and uh, this is, oh, that's kind of fun. I'm just playing with some of these live things here. Oh. Anyway, um, just testing out the, in the YouTube live, and um, one of the things that I wanted to jump on and really cover and talk about is uh, fasting for women, intermittent fasting, and the biggest mistake that women make. So one of the amazing things about intermittent fasting um, is that it has all of these fantastic health benefits for women, right? And you can use it to lose weight, you can use it to reset your digestive system, to give yourself a boost, all these things, right? Great. But a lot of women are doing it incorrectly and they're thinking that fasting equals no food. Mm, not quite. If you are going an entire day of zero food, now I know there's fasting for religious purposes and things like that. That's something totally different. You know, I'm not, I'm not covering that at all right now. I am just talking about trying to do intermittent fasting for your health. Women, um, women have different hormones than men and our bodies respond very differently to different tactics like this. So it's really important that if you're gonna do intermittent fasting, you're doing it correctly and you're gonna get the benefit that you want from it. So here's one of the things that women do as a big mistake, they don't eat anything. They eat zero, zero food, Um, not good. So here is a great kind of benchmark to go by as you are planning out an intermittent fasting day. Well, first, Lots of water, right? Tons of water. That's got to be number one. You need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate a lot. The second thing you're going to be doing is you're going to have anywhere from 300 to 500 calories for the day. Now, I don't talk about calories a lot. I don't think that that's a necessarily a really important thing to always do, right? You should be fueling your body. The only time I talk about measuring calories is really when you're doing this intermittent fasting day. 300 to 500 calories for the day. How do you know which one to do or in between? Whatever you need for the day. Sometimes you may feel like you can get through the day with just doing three or 400 calories. Sometimes you may need 500 calories. It just depends. When I do this, I often get that 500 calorie, but I am, I'm a bigger person. I am 6'2", I'm really tall, and I am a really energetic person. So I kind of burn through things a little bit more. So in my head, I'm like, well, I'll go with for that 500 calories because it's not about the calories necessarily during that intermittent fasting day. It's more about the other physiological reactions that happen in the body and what you're tapping into. This amount is just to keep your digestive system going because if you're not eating, your digestive system stops and that's a problem. If you, so this is just gonna kind of tease that along and it's also gonna help your blood sugars. Just kind of keep your blood sugars going so you're not gonna totally crash. So. Then the last thing is to space this out, right? Don't have a 500 calorie meal just once during the day. Again, that kind of goes against keeping your blood sugars nice and even. You wanna make sure you're getting ev something every three to four hours. You know, a little snack, a few almonds, some apple slices and peanut butter, you know, whatever it may be that your little snack is here, and then tons and tons of water spaced out three to four hours and then going through that. You also wanna make sure that your snack is something healthy, right? Not 500 calories, the gummy bears, <laughs> but some real dense nutrient food, something, you know, like almonds, something healthy. You don't wanna use anything that is leafy, no salads, because that's too hard to break down and digest. You wanna give your digestive system a rest. So these are some basic benchmarks to follow for intermittent fasting for women.